Neos VR is the closest thing we have to Ready Player One. In this VR social app, you can do anything you pretty much imagine. I mean, you can climb anything from walls to ceiling to even people. You can have objects that you take from one world to the other. So for example, I can spawn this Pikachu into this world or in any other world. Um, I can scale this Pikachu from small to big. I can also scale myself from small to big. You can fly, you can walk, you can spawn a futuristic motorcycle and then fly into space with it. You can even have jetpacks on your hands so that way you can fly into space just like Iron Man. So literally the world is your oyster with Neos. Now with great power comes great confusion, I guess. So because there is so much that you can do with Neos, it is pretty hard to navigate. So my goal in this video is to show you basically how to get through the basics and be able to start enjoying the amazing worlds that Neos has to offer. When you first open up Neos, this is pretty much the menu that you're going to see. On the top left, you're going to need to click so you can log in or register. So you'll check your email and in your email, there'll just be a link that you have to click. And on that website, you can go ahead and verify your email address. When you first log into Neos, this is what you'll see there. You'll be in this room. Um, it's like the training center. This shows you some of the tutorials. I highly suggest you do these tutorials because otherwise it'll get confusing, but I'll still go through the important items after you do this. Let me show you through some of your important menus. The first one you're going to want to look at is your dashboard. So on your dashboard, you have your home and on the top left, that's where you'll see your username and how much storage you have left, etc. On the bottom right, you'll see uh, if you have seated mode, if you want to be seated on or off. Right now I'm doing this from the desktop. So yes, you can use Neos from your computer and I'm doing it on desktop, which is why it has this menu here. But if you're in VR, you won't see this. Um, on the bottom left, on the bottom right, the important things is if you want to do seated mode on or off. Um, if you want to record anything, you can do camera or streaming. You can also import your own avatar into Neos. Um, and so that's what this ne avatar creator is. I'm not going to go through that in this setup though, because it will take a little bit too long. Maybe in the next video let me know in the comments if you want to see that so then the next thing you're going to see here is worlds so on the left side there are all these different tabs so first you're going to see um this is everything and usually i'm on the everything tab so there's just a bunch of like random worlds you can go into here and you can see how many people are in each world by the bottom right corner. It shows like a number of people that are logged on to those different worlds. So something you'll see that's interesting is on the top, on the top here, you'll see these two worlds actually have um, an X on the top right. So the way Neos works is instead of closing your old session, it actually keeps it running in the background or instead of closing your previous worlds that you're in, it keeps it running in the background. So if you keep jumping from world to world to world, you can have as many worlds open in the background as your computer can handle. So technically, you'll still I'm still in both of these worlds. Um, so generally, I highly recommend that after you've um, after you've gone to another world, you go into this worlds tab under everything and close out of your old one unless you really think that you're going to go back into it. So for example, I'm not really in this avatar lobby anymore. I'm actually here in the avatar import. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And yes, I really want to close this world. Um, and as you can see, if I go out of this menu, nothing happened. I'm still in this current world that I am in. It's just that now if I was to go back into this, it's going to have to reload it and I won't be in that same sh session that I was in. I'll be in a new one. Okay, so that's really important to close out of old sessions. Otherwise, your computer can start to lag. Um, there's a feature tab here, and this just shows some really cool worlds that you can explore. So I'd highly recommend going through these in the beginning. And then there's also active sessions. So if you're trying to look for people who, um, if you're trying to look for sessions where there's actually people already in there, you can go look here. Um, and then there's also MMC22. Uh, so basically, MMC is the popular... Um, create like world creator competition that Neos puts together every single year. So a lot of the worlds that are created during this competition are incredibly amazing. And so I would suggest if you're just trying to go world hopping, see what's going on, uh, check out MMC 22 and just kind of look through these different worlds. Okay, your next menu is going to be your contact menu. So your contact menu just shows like all your friends and stuff. Now it looks really, really plain. Uh, so this is kind of important for you to know if you want to add a new person, you're going to go into the top left and you'll look up that person's I don't know, let's just look up someone maybe say named orange. I don't know if anyone exists. Okay, look, so we found someone named orange. So if I want to add this person, of course, I don't know them. So I'm not going to add them. But you can go ahead and press add contact. And what it will look like is after you press add 
like contact, it will say something like contact request sent. And so they will see on their side that they have to accept you, but it will show up here that you've already sent a friend request to them. Um, and as you can see, if I was to type something else in here, um, say red, if I type red, um, now it's showing all these search results and I'm not seeing my contacts anymore. So you have to delete everything in here if you want to see your actual menu or your actual people in your world. You can also message people in Neos. So for example, let's go ahead and um, and message Alex. Yeah, so if I want to message Alex VR, um, you can go in here and there will be a keyboard that pops up that you can type a message to him. But I find that to be really complicated or it takes a lot more effort. So a lot of people actually just press and hold this red button and this records your voice and then you can send them a voice message instead. You can also do things like invite here. So if I wanted to invite my friend to the world that I'm in, you can invite them or you can ban them, remove contacts. So basically pretty normal stuff. Also, if your friends are in worlds that are open to the public then or open to you, then you can see next to their name, it'll say the word join and you can just click that and you'll be in the world that they're in. Okay, so now you have your inventory. This is something very unique to Neos because in Neos you can actually bring different, you can actually bring objects from one world to another. Um, so that is something that's really unique to Neos. So for example, so I double click this and now I just brought out this little object of me. It's basically a statue that we made of me before. So now this, I can bring this statue into any world that I go into. This just doesn't have to be in here. So that's basically what's in your inventory. There are usually already folders in here that are pretty standard. I think you usually get like the Neos Essentials and the Starter Pack. So you have to double click into them and then you'll see all these different folders and then you can click into this and see what other things are in here. In the Starter Pack, there are like community avatars. So if you don't have an avatar and you want to use one, um, you can just open this and you can double click to bring out that said avatar. See, so now I double click and the avatar is out. To equip an avatar, you just point to it with your laser and then press equip avatar. After you equip an avatar, you do need to set it as your favorite. That way, whenever you go into another world or you log into Neos again, you'll always spawn as that avatar. In order to do that, you need to heart that avatar. So you just select it in your menu and then press the heart icon on the top right corner. You'll know which avatar is hearted or which one is set as your default because it will have a pink border around it in the inventory. So now you have session and session is just showing you like the session that you're in or the world session that you're in is a better way of saying it. So it's your world name um, you can get the session orbs. so here instead of portals you actually have little orbs of the world and you can just pull out the world orbs uh, you can see the users that are in the world with you and if you ever get stuck in a world you'll want to do a respawn so if you click this button um, if you have if there's a glitch in the world and somehow you fell through or something happened and you just don't even know where you are anymore you can always go to the user section under session and then respawn yourself or anyone else that's in this world if someone else was in here i'd be able to respawn them as well as long as i had the correct permissions so under here permissions um, i have admin permissions in this world so i can do whatever i want um, there's also builder moderator guest spectator and if you own the world then you can give access like different access to people so say if someone came to visit my world but i didn't want them to mess with anything because it's my world and i don't want them to uh, mess it up then i can make them either a guest or a spectator but if I invite someone and I want them to have access to edit my world, then they can get I can give them builder or moderator or something like that. So desktop, this looks weird because I actually am using desktop, but if you click the desktop icon, it basically just shows your actual desktop on your computer. So yeah, you can see your desktop, um, your like your desktop screen from Neos or from VR. And then there is this file browser. So if you were trying to import a file while you're in Neos, you can do that and you would use this file browser tab, look for the file that you want to add in and then you'd press like the plus button. So on settings, the most important thing I would say here is on the left side, there's just a bunch of like controls to make things um, more comfortable, like snap turning, snap angle, um, uh, like, you know, just very simple, like movement styles is on this side on the settings. And then on the right side is all your audio stuff. So you can change the volume, sound, whatever. I do want to show you your contacts menu. So that is your non-dominant button on your controller. See how when I press it, it shows up this circly thing. This is your contacts menu. So things you can do is like change your locomotion. So if I click this, you can do run or climb and fly, which I showed previously. So now I'm flying. Um, okay, but now I don't like flying. So it makes me sick. So I'm just going to go back to running or walking. There's also no clip, which is similar to fly. To be honest, I don't really know the difference. And then there's teleport, which I think is pretty safe forward, right? You point and then you keep going, but I don't want to use that. So I'm going to walk or climb. 
Other things you can do in your contacts menu, if you grabbed an object, you can undo it. You can also scale yourself here. So right now it's scaling disabled, but if I undo that, now scaling enabled. So if I just do like the grips on my controllers, I can just hold them and then I can either pull apart to make myself small or I can pull it together to make myself massive. Now I want to quickly show you how to work with items in your inventory. To spawn an item from your inventory, you just double click it. So here I have this Dragon Ball. Hold it, press the contacts menu, and then I can press save to inventory. I can also destroy it. Um, I can also duplicate it or destroy it. Now if you see, if I go into a folder that's a public folder, you'll see that if I try to save this Dragon Ball by grabbing it again, open the context menu, you'll see that the save to inventory is grayed out. That's because it's a public folder. So I need to go back into my inventory menu and go into my, my private inventory. And now if I grab the Dragon Ball again and I open the context menu, now I can save into my inventory. Now, if you open your context menu while holding the Dragon Ball, you'll also see this destroy um, this destroy icon. This does not mean that this will remove it from your inventory or anything like that. It just means that you want to destroy it from this world instance. Um, so if you have a lot of objects in your world, then it can start to lag the world. So I recommend destroying any objects that you're not using so that way your world will run optimally. This was just a high level overview of how to navigate Neos. There's a lot more that you can do in Neos, including importing your own avatar, creating your own worlds in Neos while inside Neos, which I've shown in a video before of me building my own world. If you're interested in these kind of topics, I can do that in a future video. Um, if you if this was helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out a lot. And this was a lot of effort to do. If you have any other questions, there is a Neos Discord and I also have a Discord. So I'll link both of those below. So that way you can ask any questions and have fun. Bye.